today we are going to study children global wind pattern what does global wind pattern means the wind which blows globally across the earth okay so there are two types of winds permanent wind and local wind local wind is those wind are those wind which blow locally like loo and all wind blow in our places isn't it but permanent wind are those wind those who which blow throughout the year in the same pattern almost okay so we are going to study the permanent wind blows globally okay so for permanent wind we have to first understand the direction of wind blows the direction of wind blows and we have to understand why wind occurs so wind occurs or blows globally due to uneven heating of the earth's surface uneven heating of the earth surface and due to uneven heating of the earth surface what will happen temperature will be different in different areas and due to difference in temperature air pressure will be also different so due to differences in temperature and air pressure okay we will discuss later on in detail and one more reason due to rotation of earth on its axis due to rotation of earth on its axis so these are the reason for the wind to blow globally uneven heating of the earth surface difference in temperature and air pressure and due to rotation of earth on its axis now one thing also you i have told you earlier if you remember that wind always blow from high pressure to low pressure it blows from high pressure to low pressure wind always blow from high pressure to low pressure okay and why pressure is low because temperature of that reason is very high so when temperature is high pressure will be low and when temperature will be low pressure will be high okay this is inversely proportional keep this in your mind so on the equator pressure is very low and temperature is high why because on the equator the direct sunlight it receives okay it on the equator it receives direct sunlight so heat will be more temperature will be high as a result pressure will be low okay so this we are going to use the and for understanding the wind pattern one thing more the name of wind is being given from which direction it blows keep these two things in your mind now we will start the permanent uh, permanent wind how do, how do they blow for that you have to understand permanent belts okay pressure belts just see this pressure belts is it clear this is earth and here is equator okay in the on the equator i am denoting it with the stripes now here what happens direct heat of the sunlight it is receiving as a result the pressure will be low so it is named as equatorial low pressure belt it is also named as doldrum okay it is equatorial low pressure belt now when we move towards the northern hemisphere near the tropic of cancer southern hemisphere near tropic of Can uh, capricorn we will get another pressure belt is generated another pressure belt is generated here okay and this is high pressure belt 
So we are going to denote it with the dotted lines. We are going to denote it with the dotted lines. And the name of these two pressure belt is subtropical high pressure belt. This is also known, name, named as horse latitude. As it is named as Dolrum, it is named as horse latitude. Subtropical high pressure belt. When we move a little bit more towards the northern hemisphere, another pressure belt we will generate is generated here. Another pressure belt is generated here. So this is low pressure belt. Here is high, here is low. Alternate. Okay. And this pressure belt is known as sub polar low pressure belt. I am denoting pressure belt with PB. Okay. Sub polar low pressure belt. Okay. Now when we move to the extreme northern pole then here again high pressure belt is generated which is named as polar high pressure belt shortcuts okay here also polar high pressure belt is it clear so now you can see all together seven pressure belts are generated how many seven okay one two three four five six seven they are high pressure belt low pressure belt high pressure belt low pressure belt high pressure belt low pressure belt and high pressure belt Okay, these all are the pressure belts. Now see how the wind blows. When we talk about the wind blowing, we have to consider that earth is rotating on its axis. As a result, it will be, the wind will be a bit tilted. Okay, it will be a bit angled. It is tilted. So it is named as trade wind. And its direction is fixed. Its direction is fixed. It is a bit angled due to rotation of earth on its axis. And it blows from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt. You can see the direction. Okay. Now from subtropical high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belt. From both the sides it will blow. And the direction of wind will be like this. From west to east. So, it is named as Westerlies. Westerlies. Okay. From west to east. Because it blows from west to east. If it blows from east to west, then it will be named as Easterlies. So, in from which direction the wind is coming? The wind is named on that basis. Same here. From high pressure belt to low pressure belt, the wind will blow. Is it clear? So, have you understood? From high pressure belt to low pressure belt, how the wind blows. Now, one thing more you should understand, children. In the northern side, northern hemisphere side, the westerlies is getting enough space to move. And islands are there, continent are there. So, it go, moves with a good speed. But in southern sides, what happened? These, there is ocean. So, as a result, the westerlies get more space to move so it moves very strongly so on the basis of the speed of the westerlies the wind is being named if it blows with the speed of 40s then they are said to be roaring 40s if they blow with the speed of 40s okay and if they blow with the speed of 50s then it is named as furious 50s and if it, it blows with the speed of 60s then it is named as shrinking 60s and this goes only with the westerlies that too in the southern hemisphere region where ocean is more okay so they are only named on the basis of the speed of the wind 
so i hope so you have understood this topic let us do recap very fastly of the topic what we have discussed that how global wind pattern depends upon the uneven heating of the earth surface difference in temperature and air pressure and rotation of earth on its axis there are pressure belts alternate high pressure low pressure high pressure low pressure belt is there on the equator maximum heat is being received by the equator so there is temperature is high and pressure is low so it is named as equatorial low pressure belt which is also called as doldrum okay and after that when we move towards the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere near tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn another pressure belt is generated which is low pressure high pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt in both the sides again when we move more towards the polar region then there is low pressure belt generated which is named as subpolar low pressure belt subpolar low pressure belt and to the polar region polar high pressure belt and polar high pressure belt in northern and southern hemisphere is it clear now as the earth is uh, doing rotation on its axis so it is a bit tilted so direction of the wind will be also angled okay as a result when the wind blows from high pressure to low pressure so subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt it moves it is angled in this way and name is being given trade wind okay when it moves from subtropical high pressure belt towards the subpolar low pressure belt subpolar low pressure belt then it is named as westerlies both are named as westerlies if it moves from west to east and similarly it happens from high pressure belt to low pressure belt is it clear and this is what global wind pattern and i hope so you have understood this topic thank you